FGS Firefight, and I'm here doing a video showing you how to install Minecraft Forge onto your Minecraft Mac thing. This is an iOS Snow Leopard. You might, you guys are probably using Mountain Lion or something, but the process is very, very similar. It's actually it's almost the exact same thing. It's just getting to your system files thing. Okay, so you're gonna go into Finder. Wait, no, you know you don't even want to do that yet. I am getting ahead of myself here. Okay, you're going to go on the first link in the description. It will take you to this site. You're going to find promotions, latest, it will say changelog, javadoc, that star thing, src, another star thing. Then it will say universal. You want to click on universal. Okay, it will take you to ad, ad fly, or that's how I pronounce it. Okay, you got to wait three seconds. I mean, five seconds. Yep. And then we're going to skip the ad. Yeah, as you can see, I figured out that if I use my USB mic and pretty much yell, then you guys will be able to hear me. Okay, so you'll find that in your downloads. Just going to unzip it, and then it'll give you a folder. Move that out to your desktop. Go back to go to Finder. Cert, uh, go to your um, name, your username. Uh, for mine, it's R Dolphin. Then I'm going to go to find library on Mountain Lion. You usually have to search for it. But, okay, so now you just got to search for app support. It can be hard for some people. Okay, it'll say application support, Adobe Acrobat, if you have that. Um, don't click on that one. Just click on regular application support. And then if you... Yep, you should find Minecraft somewhere up there. And you're going to click on it, and it'll take you to this. Okay, you're going to go to bin. And then you'll have this thing called Minecraft.jar. Get info. And then you're going to put a dot .zip after that. So here's my dot .zip. And then I'm going to hit enter. Use dot .zip. Okay, now I have a Minecraft.jar.zip. You want to open that up. You can get rid of the zip file. Now you have a folder called minecraft.jar. You're going to open that up. And it will have a ton of things. I'm just going to go by Monkind because that's easier to find all the folders and that kind of stuff. Because there's one that you need to delete. Delete. Dang it. Where is the folders? I guess class goes before folders. Okay. Okay, you're going to see this meta imp. You're going to delete meta imp. Yes, or else your game will crash when you're trying to load any single mod. This thing just prohibits any mods from being used. So move to trash. And then you're going to open this up. And you're going to drag and drop every single oh, dang it. file into here and then apply to all replace and then you should have minecraft forge okay now it'll say to make a you won't have a mods folder and install minecraft forge mods yet so you're just gonna go run minecraft log in and it'll do this it'll start downloading a ton of files It'll take a while, but this is perfectly normal. Yep, it just has to generate some files, that kind of crap. Yes, and so, um, one, it'll take like two seconds once this is over to start up your Minecraft. Oh yeah, whatever you do, don't hit stop or X out, because then Minecraft won't run at all. Trust me. I've done it. Speaking from experience. If you if you excuse me, I have to deal with something. Okay, so it'll say three mods loaded. A new tab called mods. These are the mods that come with Minecraft Forge. Minecraft Coder Pack. Um this is a modding toolkit. Um this provides the um ability for systems to load mods from the file system. And this is Minecraft Forge. It has an awesome logo. 
Okay. And that is how you are going to install Minecraft Forge for Minecraft 1.5 on Macintosh Snow Leopard. And I thought I'd add something to this little tutorial, and this will be how to install mods on Minecraft Forge. Because who would want just a mod loader on your Minecraft and have the rest vanilla? I mean, that'd suck. As you can see, same place as I left it. No other mods. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Alien vs. Predator mod, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on also doing those core mod stuff. Okay, I made a short I made an alias to my uh Minecraft file thing. So, I'm just going to use that. Okay, and you can see all these new files. These are what you're going to use. Okay, mods is for your basic mods, and then core mods. Some mods require a core mod, core mod, some mods are core mods themselves. Take Galacticraft for example. Okay. So I'm gonna go to Minecraft my Minecraft stuff. I have I keep pretty much all my mods mods. Okay, and I was gonna show you Oh okay. Oh yeah, airy mods. Okay, so um to install Aliens vs Predator, you need also the Airy mod. Um that's required to run it. So you just go in your mods folder. And you select those. I'm going to copy it because I really need these. And you want to paste. There. Now you're just going to go back into your Minecraft. Okay, uh, back in Minecraft. I'm just going to log in. And it's doing this FML thing. As you can see, it took shorter. Black screen going to Mojang. Okay. Okay, now it says seven mods loaded. Okay, let's look at the mods. Airy has nothing. Airy in industrial extension. Airy terrestrial terrain extension. Aliens vs. Predator. Okay, and I'm just going to prove that this is legit and it works. I mean, if that didn't help. If that didn't prove it to you. And then there'll be this tab. And that's all the stuff.